Amidst thunder, lightning, and open miracles, the Torah was given, and every Jew was there. The souls of his sons and daughters, and their sons and daughters, until the end of time, were gathered close and told of their mission. To be a holy nation, to live inspired lives, to illuminate the darkness all around them. Every Yiddish neshama has the same responsibility and the same right to drink from the Torah's sweet waters. We are all brothers, sharing a divine inheritance and legacy. Achenu kol beis Yisrael. It's that awareness that drives the dedicated people at Achenu to reach out, draw close, and keep carrying their banner high, working with the passion of B'nai Taira to infect others with their contagious enthusiasm. It's a movement of B'nai Taira, creating B'nai Taira. The last few decades, the final stages before Mashiach's imminent arrival, has seen an unprecedented march home. The sparks in tens of thousands of souls reignited, a flaming fire of return. There are so, so many B'nai Avroham Yitzchak V'yachir, the Shamas that were there at Har Sinai, that aren't familiar with the words of Shema Yisrael. Fueled by a mentality that says that it is not sufficient to be a teacher and guide, not enough to merely open their eyes and expose them to the beauty they've been missing, the committed staff of Achenu works in stages, introducing, explaining, and gently easing these dear brothers into Torah life. And once they've returned to their rightful home, Achenu is still there, hovering in the background with the strong supportive arms of a father, the love and devotion of a mother, and of course the loyalty of a brother, ensuring they succeed. It's been close to two decades, Bli Ayanhara, and Achenu has discovered close to 10,000 brothers, welcoming them home and making sure they're comfortable. Where do they get the love, the energy, the inspiration? An army of B'nai Torah, and in 2005 they were led to a general that embodied the nobility and sweetness of the Torah. Their battle became his, their goals his own. They worked, the soldiers of Achenu, with the shining countenance of their Nasi in front of them. Achenu and Rav Michal Yehuda Lefkowitz, brought together by the Divine Hand, and thus was the Kirov landscape in Eretz Yisrael changed forever. Up a stairwell on Rechoi Vilkame, in the shadow of the Ponovizhe Yeshiva, there is a small window. You could peer through the glass and glimpse back in time to a litta we thought lost forever. There sat a man radiating peace and light, high Yamulka perched upon his head, swaying by his large Gemara and humming sweetly. Enter his room and he would look up, his smile warm and welcoming, his expression making it clear that you were his and he was yours. Or as he himself once expressed to a visitor, I am too old to become your Rebbe now, but please let me be your Zayde, your grandfather. His name was Rav Michal Yehuda Lefkowitz, and in him we had a father and mother leading, caring, guiding and encouraging. He would grasp our hands and look into our eyes and speak to our hearts. Hearts that we somehow understood were connected through chains of love to his own. As long as he had strength in his body, he used it to learn, to teach, to support, to be mechazik, to transmit the legacy he received, first in Valozhin, where he was born, then in Vilna from Rav Shleimah Hyman, followed by the Chevron Yeshiva of old, and from his Rabbi, the Chazanish. He lived for his Talmidim. He lived for Bnei Taira the world over. Many streams of our nation sought solace in his presence, and he made time for all. But the Talmidim and families of Achenu were drawn especially close. Yeah. 
Achenu, its students, staff, and administration were treated as a benzakuna, the beloved child that is the culmination of a long and productive career. The results of their venture, the sincere B'nai Teira, into pastures far from the base medrash were astounding. More than 9,650 Yidin brought back, with over 90% of them, Bali Ayin Hara, becoming committed, vibrant members of Klal Yisrael. Remichel Yehuda, the father of so many organizations and programs in the Chinuch community, considered his appointment as Nasi of Achenu significant, feeling honored to stand at its helm. The reason his Talmidim perceived was because as a master pedagogue, he appreciated the wisdom of the Achenu formula, a three-step process, mentoring, fanning that initial spark, enrolling, ensuring that the child is entrusted to the right institution for them, where they can continue to develop. Follow-up, maintaining and building on all the hard work. At an Achenu gathering, the Rosh Hashiva rose to speak, his voice weak, but his enthusiasm unmistakable. Achenu doesn't just bring a bocher to yeshiva and leave him there. They recognize that a bocher needs constant support and chizik, and they invest in an entire staff of avrechim to serve as mentors. They learn with the boys and advise them until they become true b'nai ter. Just a few months ago, Klal Yisrael sustained the loss of its crown, its general, the Rosh Hashiva Reb Michal Yehuda Zatzal. B'nai Brak lost a beacon of light, and Ponevizhi Yeshiva lost a pillar. But for the Achenu family, it was personal. We lost our grandfather. Armed with his confidence, equipped with the vision he articulated, and bound heart and soul to his legacy, we march on, certain that he is looking on with pride. Ma Khan Oimid Umeshamesh, just as here, when he was among us, he was always available and ready to help us. Afshom Oimid Umeshamesh. There too, in the heavenly realm, he continues to work on our behalf. He was our Nasi, carrying our burden on his heart. And we, his humble Talmidim, thrilled to be bringing him nachas and satisfaction. וכל הפעולת של הרב רב דוד עוד שצר יהיה לתכלס התארס של כלל ישראל עומד.